Hey guys, it's Julia, designer at The Quilted Cow, and today's tutorial is on the Helpful Heifer 40 ounce stand. Before we begin, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Husqvarna Vikings Sewing Machines, Creative Grids Rulers, Mats and Rotary Cutters, and Wilmington Prints. Let's begin. The Helpful Heifer 40 ounce stand is the perfect cup accessory for any of your needs. You can put your handled tumblers inside and keep your hands free all day. You can find our kits on our website at thequiltycow.com or on our Facebook Lives on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Let's begin with the first step. The first step is we are going to prep all our pieces. So we're going to take our main and our lining fabrics and we're going to be using our casing fabrics in this step as well. What we need to do is to tuck our edges under a half inch on both sides. So let's press our fabrics a half inch. Once you've done that on your main and your lining pieces, we're gonna repeat the same steps for our casings. Once we have all of our raw edges tucked under on the ends, we're going to take our two casing fabrics and we're going to fold them in half wrong sides together and press them in the center to create our nice casing strip. You'll repeat this for both of your casing strips. Once you have your casings pressed in half, we're going to set those in our main and linings aside for now. The next step is our strap fabric. So we're going to do the same thing we did previously and tuck our raw edges under on our short ends. Once our raw edges are tucked under on the ends, we are going to take our strap fabric and fold it in half and press to find our center crease. Once your strap is pressed in half, we are going to begin by opening it back up and folding our raw edges to the center crease. And then we're going to refold it in half and press. Now you'll need some pins or clips to hold this closed while we go. Once you have your strap completely prepped and ready, what we're going to do is step to our sewing machine and do an eighth inch top stitch around all four sides. Once you have your strap fabric completely top stitched, we can set this aside. The next step is the tab fabric. So what we want to do is fold our fabric in half, wrong sides together, and press to find the center crease. We're going to open our tab back up and take our loop Velcro, which is the soft piece, and we're going to place it right in the center, about a quarter inch away from our press line. And we're going to stitch this in place. Let's go sew. Now that we have our Velcro attached, we are going to fold our tab in half, right sides together, hiding our Velcro inside. We're going to stitch a quarter inch seam down both of our edges, leaving the short end open for turning. Now that we have the edges of our tab completely stitched, we are going to turn our tab right side out. So I always just push it in the center and then use a stiletto or some other pointed object so that I can get the points just right in the corners. I'm going to be using this flamingo stiletto. It's one of my absolute favorites and it's just adorable. So once we have it turned right side out, we're going to press it, but we're gonna place our Velcro face down because we would hate for that to get melted. Now that we have our tab pressed, we are going to do a top stitch an eighth of an inch around all of our finished edges. Now that we have our tab completely top stitched, we're gonna set this piece aside. The final step that we need to do to prep our entire project is to do our top casing for the elastic. So what we're going to do is to fold our tab or our strap fabric in half right sides together and we're going to stitch this along the long side creating a nice tube. Once you've created your tube, we're going to use a tube turner to turn it right side out. I am going to center my seam on the back and press my fabric so it's nice and smooth. Now that we have our elastic casing ready, what we can do next is to add our elastic in. 
We're going to take our shorter elastic piece and thread it. I'm going to use this bodkin. It's one of my favorite tools. You can use anything you'd like to thread your elastic. So we're going to thread this through until our elastic's even with one end. And then we're going to stitch this end completely shut, holding our elastic in place before we get the measurement. Now that we have one end of the elastic secure inside of our casing, we're going to pull our elastic until our elastic strap measures four inches. So once you have it gathered to the correct size, we need to step to our machine and secure it in place. We're going to run a stitch down the other end and then we can trim our elastic to size. Now that we have our elastic secured, we can trim the end of it off. I'm going to be using my Creative Grids cutter just to trim this end piece away. The final step is to attach the other side of our Velcro that went with our tab fabrics. So I'm going to be taking my hook Velcro and attaching it right here on the left hand side, about a quarter of an inch away from the edge, and we can go stitch this in place. Now that I have my Velcro secured in place, it is time to assemble our project. So we're going to take our main fabric, the one piece with the Velcro, and we're going to place it right side up. We're going to take our top casing and lay the raw edges together along the top edge. We're going to take our bottom casing and lay raw edges along the bottom edge. Now you can pin or clip this or you can add a basting stitch as you go. I'm going to just put some clips in it while I get my other pieces together. Now that I have my casing strips clipped in place, I'm going to take my lining fabric and place it right sides together on top. Lining up all the raw edges and adding it into my clips or your pins that you used. Now that everything's nice and clipped together, we can step to our machine and we're going to run a quarter inch seam along the top and bottom, securing our casings inside. Now that we have sewn across the top and the bottom edge, it's time to turn our project right side out. So it doesn't matter which end you turn from, we're just going to poke it through one of the sides here. making sure that you keep your raw edges completely folded under still. So we are just going to put this so the Velcro is side down and press it so our steams stay nice and flat. Now that this is pressed flat, it's time to attach our tab fabric. So our tab will go on the opposite side from where our hook Velcro is. And we wanna make sure that it's going face down, lined up with our fold. So it should be a half inch right inside. And we're going to add some clips to hold this in place while we do our next step. The next step is to take our elastic casing and we're going to tuck this right inside this top edge. So it'll fit right inside this casing strip right here. And you just make sure that you have Make sure that you have your seam facing down so it'll be nice and hidden inside your finished project. So we're just going to tuck the ends about a half inch inside, giving ourselves lots of room to stitch it and make it secure. You can use anything you'd like to help push that in. I'm going to use my stiletto. It's perfect to do the job. Once I have it inside, I'm going to clip it in place. Next, we need to step to our machine and we're going to sew the right side of our project completely together, leaving this bottom casing opening for our final elastic strip. So we're going to secure both of these pieces. Now that your elastic strip and your tab are completely secure, we are going to work on attaching them to the other side. So now that we have our right side secure, it's time to thread our elastic. So we're going to take our long piece of elastic and thread it through this bottom. I'm going to use a bodkin to thread, so you just face it 
and pull it until the right side of your elastic is even with the right side of your project. Once you have your elastic even, we are going to stitch this to secure it. Now that our right side is secured, we are going to pull this so the bottom of our casing measures nine inches. That's how big it needs to be to be the circumference of a cup for a cup holder. Once we have it gathered, we are going to go ahead and stitch the other side of our strip together, securing our elastic in place. Now that you have the bottom elastic secure, we can go ahead and just cut that. I'm gonna use my Creative Goods Rotary Cutter once again to just trim that right off, even with the fabric. Next, we need to attach the top elastic and we're going to do the same thing we did on the first side and tuck it into this opening casing on the other side. You can use anything you'd like to get the edges in there nice and secure. It should be nice and even. Now we are going to stitch to secure this top casing in place. Now that I have my elastic casings along the top nice and secure, your project should look just like this. So what we're going to do next is to stitch the bottom edges a quarter of an inch just where they overlap. And then your project will look like this. Let's go sew this bottom casing strip. Your project at this stage should look just like this. The top is completely secured in the elastic, your Velcros match up, and your bottom is nice and secure. The final step is to add our strap fabrics. Now with the 40 ounce tumbler, nope, with the 40 ounce stand tumbler holder, what we're going to do is to take our strap and go around this elastic casing and fold it in half to where it's nice and secure. You wanna leave room for it to slide back and forth across your elastic strap. To secure this, we're gonna run two stitch seams just to make sure it's nice and secure in place. Let's go step to our machine and sew this. Once you have one side of your strap attached, we want to find the top center. So in order to do this, I fold it in half, matching up right where my casing ends, and find the center on the opposite side. This is where your strap is gonna go. So you wanna make sure your strap is nice and not twisted, nice and smooth and we're going to tuck it right inside along the top of this casing. Once again, we're gonna run two strips of seams to secure this in place. Now that your strap is attached, your ex now that your strap is attached, your helpful heifer stand is complete. All that's left to do is to slide a cup right inside here. You can find this kit on our website at thequiltycow.com or on our Facebook Lives on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching. Okay, you wicked cool quilters, good job. You made it to the end. We would like to thank our sponsors, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, Creative Grids, Rulers, Rotary Cutters and Mats, and Wilmington Prints for the beautiful fabrics. Thanks for watching.